All right, let's do this. What's up, everyone? Rayleigh here, back with more YouTube videos, and today we're gonna be reacting with like really scary shit. Apparently, um, this one was recommended by a friend of mine. Kudos to him. He said this one's really scary, and he was he even he even warned was like, I don't know if you're ready for this. It's like he was like, I don't know if you can do this, man. <laughs> I was like, fine, I'll watch it. I'll even record myself. Little does he know, I I kind of have reacted. Over there, the little videos, and we're gonna be reacting with some Rubisco. Mm. Good. Oh, shit. Um, oh. it's currently, by the way, 10 14 in the evening, near the midnight. So, if this turns out really scary, I'm not going to sleep tonight. So, yeah, let's see. I'm really nervous about this. We've dealt with plenty of stuff like this before. You can talk to us. But I'm going to sleep. I see that. Hmm. Yep. I think this is the right video because he said that the girl wasn't showing her. Dude, she doesn't want to tell us what's going on. She's probably just freaked out right now. <laughs> what the? Hello, what? Lux Army. Before this video starts, let's try to beat our record for the most likes and smash 100,000. So for this episode, we received an email from a girl named Bella. Bella thinks that she's been seeing a girl who looks like her in her house at night. She says that before she goes to sleep at night, she sometimes sees almost like a reflection of herself walking around. Now personally for me, this didn't make any sense until she sent us this video. Oh god, what the fuck? So today we're gonna drive out to Bella's house and stay here for <laughs> Yeah, that is creepy. Figure out what's going on. That is creepy. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, now, I'm really nervous. On the scale of how real this is, I cannot say. But, you know, it, this could be her twin sister, and her twin sister could have PTSD or other stuff. Um, like an illness, basically. Uh, it happens. Sometimes the other twin has an illness, the other one doesn't. And I'm kind of giving myself time to open this Rubisco because this is my only comfort food right now. But on a scale of how scary this is, it's really scary. About this. Really scary. It's making you nervous. Or we've just never had a case like this before. I mean, right now I have no idea what we can expect, but we've dealt with plenty of stuff like this before. Yeah, we've just never done anything like this. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I think this is a place. You think you're gonna be able to do this? I guess I don't have a choice. Alright, let's go and talk to him. Alright. Okay. Here, knock on this door. I don't know why, but I'm suddenly a bit. Well, I'm a creeped out. Dude, why isn't she answering the door? You talked to her, right? Yeah, I talked to her this morning. I thought she knew we were coming tonight. Also, what kind of idiots are you to be a paranormal expert that visits a house that's haunted at night? Just saying. I guess it gets you more views. I don't know. Or, uh, or oh, oh, I'm recording. Oh, I'm checking. I'm recording. Yeah. Back at it. Hey. hey. Hello. How's it going? Uh, Hello? We're here to make the video. We're here to make the video. Can we come in and get started? This feels kind of fake. I'll be honest with you. This feels kind of fake, but but let's let's remove that fuck fact, are we? Okay. okay, Bella. Thank you for letting us in. Can you tell us a little bit more about your situation? See, this is weird, right? They're trying to censor her face. She's not trying to show her face too, but she's also trying to censor their face during editing. If this was a ghost, why would you censor the face of a ghost? So you said you've been seeing a second version of yourself? Yes, this is true. Uh, okay. Listen, I, I know it's a little bit awkward having these cameras in your house and stuff, but you need to talk to us so we can figure out, you know, what's going on with you. I mean, can you please at least look at me? Myself. Do you see this person at night? Yes, when I'm going to sleep, I see them. What kind of things does this person do? Normal things. 
Also, it's so rare to see a ghost with a shadow. And you live completely alone? So if you've never seen this person very clearly, why do you think this person looks like you? What? Listen, Bella, I know this is pretty weird and stuff, but you can talk to us and tell us what's going on. I'm just not in the mood to talk about it. Okay, so if you just want to show us where we'll be sleeping, we'll set up some cameras tonight to try to find out what's going on. Uh, can you show us where we'll be staying? Okay. Okay. Okay, I, I'm sorry, there's just some, something funny about her looking like... <laughs> it kind of it kinda looks like... Uh, and I gave her the benefit of the doubt that she could be sick, she could have PTSD. Now, I'm not so sure at all that he, he even ha she even has that. I think she's just scripting this. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Dude, she doesn't want to tell us what's going on. Bro, she's probably just freaked out right now. I'm just really uncomfortable being here. Alright dude, just relax. Alright, let's go set up some cameras, and let's go to sleep, alright? Alright, fine. Let's go. There are subtitles below, but I don't think you can see them. I can't do anything about it. This is the, literally the best I can do. So if you want to see yeah, what they're literally saying, and you can uh, understand what they're saying. Hey, Bella, do you mind if we put a camera in your room? Alright, so we have the camera set up. Uh, it's pretty late. I'm ready to go to sleep. Dude, look at this camera in her room. She's just sitting there. She'll probably go to sleep soon. It's not a big deal. Let's just go to sleep, alright? Alright, fine, whatever. This feels kind of scripted, to be honest. Oh god, she's still not asleep. Well, I guess ghosts don't sleep. Hmm. What the hell? That's not the bed. The door's open. The door's open. Oh, oh, why do I feel like a jump is about to happen to her? Oh no. Don't you dare go close to the camera operating. You stay there, behave. Stay there. Yeah, scratch yourself, I don't care. She looks in pain. Oh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, no, that's it, no, that's it. 55 a.m. Stop it. Oh. Hello? Hey, Ash. Uh, I need to call Tony. Um, are you guys sleeping? Uh, what? Yeah, we're sleeping. Why are you calling? Um, I'm just calling to let you know that Eddie left Friday so then we can film men. What are you talking about? So we can film the investigation. What is she talking about? Why are you, why are you calling? Why didn't you just come in? I told you I'm gonna be back on Friday so then we can film. Oh. What are you talking about? We're in your house now. What? Or what are you how, saying? How'd you get in there? You let us in. What are you talking about? That's not me. That's not me. You guys have to get out of there right now. Ooh. What, what the hell is going on? Me. That's not her? Bro, let's go. We need to get out, bro. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. Come on. Okay. <laughs> no. What are you doing in this house? Listen, we're just trying to leave, all right? <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's wrong with your skin? <laughs> Bro, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I was scared for nothing. Let's rewind that shit back. What? What the hell is going on? That's not her? Bro, let's go. We need to get out, bro. Get your stuff. Get your stuff. Come on. Okay. This is so fake, dude. house listen we're just trying to leave all right <laughs> what's wrong with you what's wrong with your skin <laughs> bro let's get the hell out of here <laughs> let's go 
Oh no, what could have happened while we were sleeping? Mm. Mm. I swear to god, if you make us a jump scare right now, I'm about to punch you in the face. Virtually punch you in the face. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Remember, let's try to smash 100,000 likes on this episode for the next episode to be released. The video is over now, so you don't need to keep watching. But here's some footage from our new channel, exclusively scary content, Luxury Dark. Click the second link in the description to subscribe to our new channel, Luxury Dark. All right. Awesome. Now I'm not gonna watch this because I only wanted to watch the uh, other part. But uh, well, let's Welcome watch it. But hello. Uh, Luxury dark. So for this episode, Chester found this website on the dark web where you can buy friends online. Now this is probably one of the weirdest things that I've ever heard, but Chester's convinced that if we buy a friend on the dark web, he'll be our friend for life. It just seems like there's really cool people on there. So we're gonna sit down and Fred and check this site out. Let's go. It's like so it really it really seems like there's a lot of cool people in there. Nah. There there's the word dark in the dark web. The the dark. You know what dark is, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see what's on this site. Okay, so this looks like it's the website selling them. My first impression is this looks extremely strange. Yeah, some of them do look a little bit weird. Wait, click this guy. He looks like really happy. Alright, it says here that he'll be your friend for life, he'll become very attached to you, and he'll want to become one with you. Dude, this sounds like a pretty good friend. That does not sound like a good friend. Become one with you, full of love. Are you kidding me? It sounds like this guy doesn't want to be your friend. He wants to be your... <laughs> friend at all. Like Whatever, man. Okay, let's go. This shit's fake. I forgot my wallet. What do you mean you forgot your wallet? We're home. I lost it. Alright, I got it. Okay, so we just bought this guy. We put our phone numbers and address in there. We're supposed to receive text alerts as to when... By the way, that's a very creepy picture of Einstein behind them. So, uh, we'll I don't know what that's I'm about. Excited. I have no idea why. Let's cut the camera. <clears throat> They got they saying our friend will arrive that night. All right, guys, Great. It's two forty-seven in the morning right now. I just got a message saying that our friend will arrive within the hour. Is it, is it him? Is it, is it, is it, is it. Is it him? I swear, if it's another bitch oh, shouting. Hey. Jimmy. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jimmy. <laughs> what the fuck? This is so stupid. Let's smash that 100,000 likes and let's try to hit 350,000 subs on Luxury Dark. And as always, thank you guys for watching, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for being part of the Lux Army. Now, okay, I'm gonna end it there and just go to my commentating state, so... Okay, we're back. <laughs> uh, yeah, man, um, it did get me for a while. It did get me a while. Kudos to them, but... Uh, it, it just felt so scripted. It felt like it was a fucking movie, especially with the blurry s screen glitch effects. Are you kidding me? The, the, a camera doesn't do that at all. Uh, uh, not a HD camera camcorder that they were holding. Nah, maybe if they were holding an ancient 90s, you know, Canon camera, maybe that would work. But that camera, nah, I don't believe that shit. And also, did you see the lady? Oh my god! And the dark web. The dark web is just the dumbest. And it's like someone had to say, hi. It's like, imagine just like, hi, I'm Jamie. <laughs> it's like, what's this, a YouTube intro? <laughs> like, he does worse YouTube intros than I do, and I do use a lot of YouTube intros that are really bad, but... Well, <laughs> at least it did get me for a while, like, especially with the 
Nice of cameras while well, the lady was scratching her stuff. I thought she was gonna come close to the camera and just jump scare you like like gonna give you a pow because I'm I kind of had a feeling that this was scripted, but I'm still scared of jump scares like I really fear for my jump scares. You know, if you've seen my video games of Amnesia and Penumbra, check my channel out. Um I really get scared when I feel like there's going to be a jump scare, so like I'm not comfortable with this, so I'm like, I wasn't, I I felt uncomfortable, but in terms of like, scared, it's like, yeah, I did feel scared during that time, it's like going here, I'm just going my shit, but when I saw the lady just scream, I thought something was gonna add something paranormal, because normally shelves started throwing themselves, or even the camera starts acting weird, the only weird was that was the move I'll be, or, no, not a move I'll be, I'm using my own editor, editor in my head, was a screen filter of a screen glitch, which is a filter, and an edit. It's fake. It's scripted. This shit is scripted. It's hard for me to be scared, especially oh, seeing how scripted it was. Like, also, um... Take note that we never saw, we never saw the actual girl that was like, you know, um, supposedly seeing her other self. We saw her record her other self, but we never saw her face. We heard her voice, and even with the voice, the way she sounded was a little bit different compared to the other girl that was like creepy and long hair so if you compare two and two together they're kind of not the same i'm sorry but i'm i didn't get i didn't get really that scared in that one i just laughed it off it's like uh maybe <laughs> maybe 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 some other time but um yeah uh i mean it in terms of giving you a good scare it it did its job it did its job but it's, is it gonna give me nightmares before I sleep? Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah. sorry fam. <laughs> sorry fam, I'm not gonna get- I'm not- I'm, I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna be sleeping wonderfully tonight. So, yeah, without further ado, if you wanna check that video out, I'll put the link in the description below. Be, be sure to support them too. I know that uh, I'm making fun of them, but I'm not trying to actually just make a mockery out of them. Uh, I do respect what they're doing because that's in a way some sort of creative art form and it is, after all, a whether it be scripted or not, it is still an art form of creating content on YouTube and that is still a good content. You saw how well and how polished the edits were and it made other people believe that this was real, which is good. Which is good. You're enticing viewers. And yeah, in terms of just making good ass contents they're really good doing a good job so support them if you like the videos that you've seen that i've reacted to right now the, the two kind of two melded into one video that they showed because the other one was a supposedly advertisement for for their other channel <laughs> i'm sorry i can't stop laughing at jeremy it's like hi i'm <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that's so stupid. Oh god, if that was a real dark web, I'm not gonna be scared of the dark web anymore. At least not on that website. You know what's scary though? $1,800 for a friend. Who would waste money for one thousand like that much? Like, that's a lot of money <laughs> for only a friend. You could get a friend outside the streets. Give him a weed. <laughs> it's called hobos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just making fun of it because I'm I I'm not really scared of it, but um they really make good content, especially with the editing. So I'm just moving the camera and adjusting it, but they really do good content and the way they do content it was really great and the way they made it like the way they presented it to their viewers it was professionally done also the fact that they were asking for likes and views no not like not views like likes and like codas like shares i think was a little bit weird because paranormal channels don't do that they just record what's going on and then they just 
go on and there you go they're gonna be like they're gonna say something like subscribe to my channel for more paranormal activities but in terms of other stuff um that would be the least that would be the least thing that they were like hey guys so that we so that we can have more paranormal stuff let's reach 1000 likes and the and if we get 100,000 likes, we'll go to this secret paranormal house that nobody ever knows. It's like you're promotizing it, turning into a game. You're turning it into a game show, which like paranormal people don't do that because they know the seriousness of paranormal and the uh, seriousness of like that stuff. Because to them, whether you believe it or not, to them at least they know that they believe they that it is real. They believe that it is real, right? So. They don't do like, let's get some likes. No, they only say subscribe so that you can see more of the same stuff like this, which is logical because if you want to see more paranormal activities from them, you should subscribe to them. Now, and then again, that's in terms of the paranormal perspective. In terms of creative perspective, this guy is good and professional and really, really talented. So I suggest you support him because every content creator in this channel deserves a chance and this guy is actually a good content creator he makes good as quality content and i'm not even gonna lie to that i'm not even gonna lie to you that's like oh he makes bad content he, make, he, he lies to his viewers no some sometimes they don't tell you the truth to get to, to dwell you into the reality of it like to make you more immersed to their videos that you are watching which is fine with me they're doing a great ja job. That's a great idea too. Like a job and idea just melding into my brain for one word. <laughs> but that's a great idea. Melding them into two con those two concepts into one. Like the realism of it and the effects and the cinematogra cinematography of it. I almost went I forgot cinematography of it. But yeah, the cinematography of it, it was really great that's good and i couldn't give them enough praise they deserve all the support in the world in terms of the things that they're doing and yeah they're professional at it too so please support them and you see the effort they do you see the cameras they put that they have the cameras they posted and the people that they have the edits that they do that's not easy you guys doing editings like that it takes days sometimes overnight crunch times it's not easy i'm kidding i'm not kidding with that part now so please do support them and i hope you find it in your heart to subscribe to them and you find it in your heart to support content creators like them because they're not popular they're not like on the overall top high hierarchy scale so giving them a chance is also a great thing because we can't just go in like okay i'm going in a tangent here but I'm just gonna like say like you can't just support this one famous guy and then ignore the rest that are also doing just as much as hard work but aren't but it's just not getting the right attention for it so yeah i want to expose those people that are doing this stuff like this too so you know um hopefully they get the support they deserve because they deserve it man they deserve it they they're taking it seriously i'm doing this is for fun you know <laughs> simple edits learning stuff on my own but yeah, um, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed watching my reaction videos. And, you know, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more reaction videos. I do also Penumbra playthroughs right now. Um, I believe I've uploaded the first episode. Uh, I'm still in the process of editing the second. Uh, but I think I have multiple episodes ready. No, I know I have multiple episodes ready, but I haven't edited them yet since I've been busy. And uh, But you can watch my Amnesia if you haven't seen my Amnesia stuff yet. They're really scary. And really reminiscent of those PewDiePie days because I, I really love play like seeing those old classy videos. I still watch them from time to time just cause not cause I miss the old PewDiePie or anything, but because it brings back good memories. And sometimes I forget how scary the go the good old scary games were. And there were really some scary games before that even scary games they can like accomplish. So yeah. Um, the, there are some elements that are lost now, so, but with that being said, I hope you enjoyed my video here right now, and if you want to support me, again, all it takes is a subscribe. Um, with that being said, I, I've been rambling on for too much, so I'll just end the video and, uh, and uh, ask you to have a nice day, alright? <laughs> or have a nice night, have a good night. So, whatever, see you on the next video of whatever I make, stay awesome you guys. I'll drink all of this water now, 
And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. See ya. Oh, no, that's not the end.